Hey guys, we are back with uh, sales for Monday. I have my little one here. He's only four months old, so hopefully he'll let us get through the video without making too much noise. There he is. So we'll jump right in. Um, iRobot Scuba. This was one that was paid before, but it ended up being, um, or was bought before but never paid. Someone actually paid full price today, 300 bucks. so we'll ship this out to Minnesota. I actually have to kind of Frankenstein a box, um, Frankenbox it to make it work, but um, that'll be okay. So paid 50 bucks for that. This is a Jacksonville Jaguars um, breast cancer, like awareness um, hoodie, brand new with tag, 4XL. Football season coming, I knew this was going to move um, and be in a 4XL. It sold for 65 bucks full price, but I paid, or I paid five for it. So that'll go in a regional A box since it's over a pound. Uh, Street Fighter 4, pay like a buck or two for this, uh, or not 4, 5 I think it is, for the PS4, sold this for 15 um, so that was a pretty good deal there, it'll go in a first class, that was a full price sale. Here was one of the ones where the guy hadn't paid, um, he finally did pay, this is a 1981 um, Mercedes-Benz electronic troubleshooting manual, kind of beat up, but uh, he paid 16 bucks for that, so pretty cool. This is the one that sold this weekend, this auto page, um, Remote starter. I had a list at like $89, so I took a best offer of $75. I had paid $10 from Facebook, so he finally paid today. We'll go ahead and get that out, shipped in a regional A box as well. iPhone box, this is a rose gold iPhone 7 box, 32 gig. Sold that for $10 shipped, full price. And lastly, Agatha Christie's, you may have seen these in the haul video. Uh, there ended up being like actually 40 something of them, I think. Uh, paperback Agatha Christie books sold these for full price. 55, I think, was the total. Um, so that's pretty good. So that's everything. I did get one more cancellation on one of the old orders from the past week. The person I sent my message out and they told me they didn't want to um, buy the item. So we went ahead and we'll cancel that one. So, so far we have two more to figure out. Plus, um, I have one from yesterday that was that still hasn't been paid. So hopefully they'll get paid. But. That's the update. Hopefully we'll have some more sales for you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone, these are the sales for Tuesday. Um, had one other sale, a $50 sale, a Bulwark uh, flame repellent or resistant shirt. Sold for $50, but they haven't paid yet, so hopefully they'll pay tomorrow. I'm still waiting on two other ones, the old ones that haven't paid, so they have till tomorrow to let me know um, if they want me to cancel. Otherwise, I'm going to open the unpaid. I don't think they're going to pay at this point, so... I did get one person last night, like night though, say they wanted to cancel, so we went ahead and canceled it. So hopefully those two will get figured out and that one will get paid. Today was a lighter day. Uh, no item sold for more than, I want to say, 20 bucks. Um, so that's not too bad, though. Uh, make it really easy for shipping. So you got to be thankful for the sales that we did have. Uh, this is a Dolphin jersey at all on Sunday. Um, for 19 bucks, I had it at 25 or best offer. I paid two. It's a kid's jersey, so I took a best offer. It's a printed one of um, 19 bucks. The person came out with a strong offer at 19. What I've been doing on my little items like that, I'll usually list them a little bit higher. And if someone comes with a nice strong offer, I won't even counter. I'll just take it, make the money, and get out of there. So that worked for that. Uh, another Dewalt charger. This came with those other two. I sold the last two last week or maybe one yesterday I don't remember this one sold as well the DW9118 sold this one for 20 bucks it's pretty cool this was in a haul video I think a Nashville Predators hat I think I paid 50 or 75 cents you can see some staining there um, sold this best offer 15 I had it listed at 20 or best offer again someone came out strong at 15 and I just took it and we'll get this out of here that's a first class this is an old listing these are um, Keller um, drawer pulls. I paid two or three bucks for all of them. Just took a chance on them and I had them listed forever. I didn't do the best listing with them. I should have done with measurement. I'd had measurements, but I didn't show the measurement. and I just could have done a lot better with this one. Um, but I had them listed for 20 bucks at this point and they sold full price. So $20, they'll go into pad a flat rate. So we still actually made some money there. Um, some of these old shelf you know, um, hardware can sell pretty well. You just got to know what you have, and I don't yet. So that's something I would like to learn more about. This is another old list, and you can see by the plastic, I used to have these bags. They're a little bit um, more flimsy, not as firm as the other ones. Um, I even had ones that were worse than this before. So this is an old Tennessee Volunteers. Don't mind the cardboard here from Frankenboxing yesterday. 
Um, this is an older hoodie. You can kind of see right there. It's, it came in a big lot of Tennessee Volunteers and Miami Dolphin stuff I bought at a garage sale. So, 10 bucks for all of that. I think I've already sold a couple things, probably for 40 or 50. Took a best offer of 18 on this old hoodie. Um, it'll go probably in a padded flat, right? That's an old listing, good to get rid of. And this one's a pair of jeans, Division E, not a great brand to sell. These sold for full price, 20 bucks. No, a best offer, 20 had them at 25. Um, and they'll get put in a padded flat rate as well. So that's everything. Hopefully Wednesday we'll bring some more. Hey guys, it is time for Wednesday sales. Had a really good day, so can't really complain. Um, pretty happy. There's one thing you guys can't see yet, which is pretty cool. So we'll get right in here. Uh, the first thing was a sale from yesterday, but they finally paid. This is a Bulwark, B-U-L-W-A-R-K-F-R. It's like a flame-resistant 4XL long sleeve, like Henley-style shirt. Um, brand new with tag. This came out of a Savers lot that I had. I've already sold another shirt that was like an extra large of this exact shirt, and then another different kind of shirt that was gray. I paid like 60 bucks for everything involved, and then this one I got a best offer of 50 on and took it. It'll probably go in a pad of flat rate due to the weight being a 4XL. So it's called Bulwark FR. Look out for it. It's pretty cool. Um, here's an iPhone X. I actually packed this up. I made a mistake on one of my listings. I put iPhone X Silver 256 gigabyte. It was actually a space gray. So the person bought it. I canceled the sale, messaged them, um, and had to relist it, but it finally sold. It's been a little while now, but it finally sold for uh, 14 bucks for iPhone X. already packed up, so we'll just throw a label where I wrote that horrible handwriting. We'll just throw a label over that, and that one's good to go. This was cool. It's a Disney dollar from 87. Um, it, was, it was actually with all those Commodore 64 games I bought. It was just sitting behind some paperwork in one of them. So I pulled it out, looked it up. Again, you can see it's from 87. Listed it for 13 bucks. It has a crease down the center, and it's a little warped. But the person t uh, paid full price. Sold it for 13 bucks within one day. So that was cool. Pardon my dog barking at the neighbor in the background. Um, this is a Radio Shack business calculator. It came with an HP one I bought for five bucks for both. Um, this one did work. It just needed um, a new battery, which I happen to have. And then uh, I sold it for a best offer of 20. Had it listed at 25. So that was a cool sale. This was really cool right here. This is a BC's Quest for Tires, Commodore 64. This is the manual. Here is the cartridge. I paid, whatever, 13 bucks for all the Commodore 64 stuff. I don't know what, I maybe have a dollar in this one. This sold full price within one day for 80 bucks shipped. Crazy. Um, I didn't even really know where the, to price this. It was kind of all, all over the place. None was none of them were exactly like mine, so I don't know if it's super rare. Maybe I even underpriced it, but a dollar into 80 is awesome. And then the best sale of the day, at least price-wise, probably not profit-wise, is this Bulwark FR. This is the last part of that Bulwark lot from Savers. It's a size medium. This is a big, heavy-duty um, water repellent. I think it's an FR, too. Yeah. 2112 um, jacket, super thick, brand new. There's the tag, protective apparel. I uh, had listed for 115 or best offer. It's like a navy color, I think. Um, the lighting's not great. There we go, a little better. Um, 115 or best offer, free shipping. Someone paid full price to Texas, so pretty happy with that, guys. I don't know what that totals out to. Over 200, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully we'll have a couple more sales before the end of the night. It's already about 10 something. So if so, I'll show you guys. If not, we'll be back tomorrow. Hey guys, here are the sales for Thursday. Not a ton. I uh, got over the $100 mark, but um, would like to have had a few more. We can't really complain. Uh, we'll jump right in though. Starting off, probably the worst sale and the one I've had the longest is this Voight um, AMF football. It says Dana on there. I bought this a long time ago. I've had it listed for a long time. It was at 20 bucks or best offer. I think I have a dollar in it. Took a best offer of 17. I'm hoping it'll still ship first class though. So wouldn't recommend that to anybody, especially with a name on it, but happy to get rid of it. Two clothing items, 511 Tactical. Still sells for me. This is a 4230 pair of like khaki um, long pants. I think I paid seven, sold those for 30 on a best offer. Georgia, um, the college, 
starter team starter baseball jersey. Um, this was really cool. I paid ten for this from my jersey guy. Um, had one little minor stain on it, but it wasn't really a big deal. Took a best offer. The guy came out at thirty five out the gate. I had it at forty five or best offer, so I took the thirty five. Um, this will go into padded flat rate, so happy to get rid of that. Uh, Highlander, this is a DVD um, sealed six disc set, paid five for it. I bought it with another, you can see some wear there on the edge, um, with another um, Highlander set. I sold the other one for like a hundred and something bucks, or a hundred bucks, and then this one I sold for twenty bucks ship, so pretty cool. Temple of Afsai. Apsi, who knows? Um, this is one of those Commodore 64 games that sold. Um, came with a bunch of inserts. It's like a floppy. Oh well, it's all in there. So I paid um, 13 bucks for everything. I took a best offer of 30 bucks on this. So pretty cool. And lastly, a Toyota. Um, this is a um, OEM stereo. So you can see right here. It's actually with the CD player has a scratch on the CD player which is listed and the two corners are chipped I believe um, from someone dropping it or whatever um, did still work though listed it for 85 or best offer took a $70 offer to Arizona today so pretty good I am going to either make my own video or at least give a link to this one guy's video I've been using um, he, he had a, found a new video by him that um, shows a new way to test these from your home so you don't have to hook them up to a car battery or anything like that so I'm going to order the plugs that he um, said work best I'm going to try that and if it works I'll probably rec I'll forward you guys to his um, channel because he made a really good tutorial about it but I want to test it out first to see if this new way is easier and if it's pretty effective so that's it hopefully the weekend will bring something more take care guys Hey guys, here's the weekend wrap up um, for sale, Friday through Sunday. Sunday's almost over, got a couple hours left, maybe two or so, so maybe we'll have some more to add to it, but this probably will be it. Uh, quite a few clothing items, some good stuff here. I don't have the number in front of me, but you can add it up. Um, pretty happy with it. It wasn't as big as some of my other weekends, but happy to move some stuff and um, easy shipping stuff, so that's pretty cool as well. So here's a polo rugby. Just a black polo. It's really plain. You can kind of see, probably not. It says rugby there. Uh, kind of a little faded too on the collar. I sold that for like 22 bucks or something like that. 23 bucks. I had paid like five, so that was cool. A Harley denim vest here. I paid like seven or eight bucks. Sold it for a best offer of 50. So that was cool. I had had like 60, so that was a really good offer. Here's a Harley Davidson baseball jersey. I paid seven or eight for this. And then I sold this on a best offer for 35. I had it at 40. So again, really good offer on that. Here's the San Diego Chargers um, Antonio Gates jersey, size extra large. Um, this one's been listed for a while. I just dropped the price down to 25 or best offer. Someone offered me like 18, we went back and forth and agreed on 22. So happy to get rid of it. I think I paid four bucks. So super happy to get rid of that. Mac Tools, I bought a bunch of these t-shirts for 50 cents. I've sold most of them down like my last four, probably three now after this. This one got like a spider web, a hot rod on here. This one sold for best offer of 20 bucks, had it at 25, that was cool. And this is a Wrangler, the collar kind of didn't fold like it should have, so I'll have to fix that before I ship it. Um, a Wrangler kind of Aztec, it actually had a stain on it. Um, I guess it must not be, it must be on another part, but it's a little tiny little, looks like a little bleach thing, just a little tiny one, maybe a little bigger than a pen dot. Still sold it for a best offer of 30 bucks. So the Wrangler um, Aztec ones are pretty good. So that was cool. That's all the clothing stuff. Here's a USA Olympics McDonald's hat. Uh, I don't know what I paid 50 cents or a dollar. Sold that for 15 on a best offer. Pretty happy with that. Kate Spade, uh, sunglass case. Let's see if I can open it. Voila, uh, paid I think a dollar for this, a little scuffs on the back, but sold it for 15. A right temp thermostat, paid 10, a little tiny tear in the corner there, excuse me, but sold it full price, 45 bucks, so $45 sale, super cool. That'll probably go in a two pound box, it'll end up being almost two pounds, so. A cut coat um, fork here, this is a 17, if you can focus, probably not. 
well, 1726 is the model number. Fork paid a dollar, I think, for this at a thrift store, and then I sold it for 15. So pretty cool. Cutco is a good brand. Here's a well-built um, bread pan. Um, you can see it's actually kind of dirty. I tried to clean it off, but it won't even, some of it won't even come off. So I still sold it for 25 because there were none other ones listed when I listed it. So inside, super clean. I'm going to try to scrub it one more time, but the person I did put in there that it's got like residue on the side that won't come off, but there were none listed. So 25 bucks shipped. I'll wrap it in bubble wrap and put it in a poly mailer. So happy to get rid of that. Uh, here's a PSP game, YS, Ark of Napish or Tim or whatever. I don't want to pronounce that. This came out of that PSP lot, replaced the case that it was in. I uh, paid 30 for everything. This one sold for 18 bucks. This isn't the original case, so... Pretty much, I just listed the game, I just happen to have this and throw it with it, so. Here's the Mac software here. It's all in here. You might remember it from the video. There's one of the discs, iMac. Uh, this came out of a, I think a dollar, two dollar lot that I had bought. I sold this for 15 bucks, so happy with that. And then these were cool. These were the um, Chuck Taylor, Sailor Jerry, Converse. Death or Glory shoes. And just that's only really sign of wear, very minor, if anything. Um, pay like 18 or 20 bucks for these. I don't remember at Savers. Um, I put paper in them when I want to take pictures because it helps them kind of form better. And then I'll take it out when I ship them, probably. So overall, though, pretty good. And this sold for um, 65 bucks. So those were pretty good. Not a ton of money, but definitely worth it. Happy with that. Um, 65 bucks is a pretty good turnaround. So that's everything. Like I said, if anything else comes up, I'll try to add it to the back end of this video. Hopefully next week brings more sales. Take care, guys. Hey, guys. Back again. I forgot to include two more things that I had sold. I wanted to show you guys. This one was really cool. It's an Americraft um, out of El Paso, Texas. Uh, vest here. Super nice. Look this thing up. These do really well. I paid 20 and I sold it for 110 on the best offer. So super happy with that. And one more thing, some polo, Ralph Lauren glasses. Uh, look up RA5196. Paid four bucks for these. Also came in a Ray-Ban case, which I'll sell. I sold these for 40 bucks. So super cool. We'll see if anything else comes. Take care. Hey guys, one more thing here. This is a little uh, stem that sold for a Sunbeam food processor for 14 bucks.